Program status. One of the main principal advances is that we have completed the process of creating the classes and materials that will be delivered in the healthcare training seminars of the project. This will cover three topics that Mujeres of Mil and local healthcare agents consider crucial. These are one, health risk and ownership, two, nutrition and diabetes, three, sex ed and pregnancy risk. Currently, Mujeres of Mil is promoting the project within its known target population, which are current and ex women entrepreneurs of the microcredit program. The promotion process invites these women to different dates that are already set between the local community and Mujeres of Mil medical student volunteers. These dates are both set in April and May. There will be four different dates where the project will be implemented and a monthly checkup will be carried out with each group to evaluate how many did their mandatory checkups, which are blood tests, pap tests, etc. As we can see, these slums are characterized by having poor infrastructure, high levels of pollution and health risks, roads without pavement, and different levels of poverty within each slum. These are usually in the news due to cases of insecurity. The medical healthcare system in these slums are characterized by good infrastructure but have a lack of resources in both human and medical, a poor information system and a poor medical response to several problems such as mammary cancer. These patients are often forced to leave their neighborhoods and go downtown to seek better treatment.